If you look closely at the Ankavi's organs, you can see many strange things. Located on the inside, this is the stomach of an anchovy. Looking at the contents of the anchovy's stomach, wouldn't it be possible to know what the anchovy ate before it died? Anchovies are food for almost all sea creatures. Seagulls, sharks, whales, squids, jellyfish, sea turtles, humans, etc. Many creatures live by eating anchovies. Anchovies are considered important organisms in the marine ecosystem. The more anchovies, the healthier the ecosystem. Anchovies are fish belonging to the Ostachthys family. So if you look inside the anchovy, you can easily understand the internal organs of fish. Now let's dissect anchovy now. Anchovy anatomy is performed using dried anchovies for broth. Since small anchovies are difficult to dissect, it is recommended to prepare large anchovies as much as possible. Preparation for anchovy anatomy is simple. Put dried anchovies in warm water. And if you soak it for about 10 minutes, it will come back to life. First, gently press the back of the anchovy to cut it in half. The part we eat in anchovies is the skeletal muscle. The muscle has an important place to use, so I'll put it away for a while. And inside the muscle of the anchovy, you can see the anchovy's vertebrae and internal organs. I'll put the organs aside and observe them in a moment. First, let's look at the anchovy's head. There are many mysterious things hidden in the head of anchovy. First, take a little bit of the face here. Then you can see the gills inside. The gills are the respiratory organs of fish. Water enters through the anchovy's mouth and exits through this gills. Fish breathe by absorbing oxygen dissolved in water. Let's remove the gills. Anchovies have four pairs of gills. Next, if you look at the top of the anchovy head, there is something hard. Just as humans protect their brains with their skulls, anchovies also protect their brains with their skulls. If you remove the skull from the anchovy head, you can take out the brain. This is the anchovy's brain. Small, but it's completely brain-shaped. And when you finish dissecting the head, you can find two stones near the brain. This is the otolith of an anchovy. Otolith is a substance that helps people maintain sense of equilibrium. And fish also have otolith. Fish use otolith to detect tilt in the water and maintain equilibrium. And if you carefully separate the eyes of the anchovy, you can see the optic nerve connected like this. In the head part, you can see the gills, brain, optic nerve, and otolith. Now, let's observe today's highlight. The internal organs of anchovies. It looks like a lump, but if you look closely, several organs are combined. First, the heart of the anchovy is located right next to the gills. This little thing is the heart of the anchovy. Right next to the heart is the liver. And the organ on top here, like a plastic membrane, is the air bladder. The air bladder is inflated like a balloon to control buoyancy, and it helps fish move up and down in water. This organ is the gonads of anchovies. And these are the small intestine and large intestine of anchovies. And the anchovy's stomach is wrapped in something. This organ looks like a finger, isn't it? This is the digestive system of an anchovy called pylorikeka. This organ located at the boundary between the stomach and intestine that secretes digestive enzymes and absorbs nutrients. Lastly, these areas are the stomach and esophagus. Cut the top slightly and dissolve the substances inside in water. Then, I put a small amount on a slight glass and observed it under a microscope. There are a lot of things in the stomach contents of anchovies. Traces of plankton and small crustaceans are found in here. This iridescent material has been discovered, and it is a microplastic. It is discovered after plastic leaks into the ocean and enters the bodies of marine creatures. Anchovy anatomy ends here. Skeletal muscle of the anchovy was given to Sebastian.
If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe.